gentlemen, the story you are about to see is true. The names have been changed to protect the innocent. This is the city. Los Angeles, California. I work here. I'm a cop. It was Wednesday, September 7th. It was hot in Los Angeles. We were working the day watch out of burglary division. My partner's Frank Smith. The boss is Captain Bernard. My name's Friday. During the past week, the Valley Division had reported three burglaries in new housing projects. When they got a fourth report, they called us in. At 13 a.m., we drove over to the track at the corner of Moore Park and Victory, Mayflower Homes. This the one? Yeah, this is it. Say, did you see that sign back there? $500 down. Pretty nice houses, huh? Yeah, they are. You thinking of getting a new place, are you? Well, thinking the kids are growing up. We could use some more room. Mm-hmm. This is the kind of place Faye wants, though. One that nobody else has lived in. Well, maybe someday. Yeah. Yes, sir? Police officers. My name's Friday. This is Frank Smith. How do you do? Somebody reported a burglary at this address. Are you Sam Brighton? Yes, sir, that's right. Would you come in? Thank you. Called the police just a little while ago. Talked to a man down there. I didn't get his name, though. I was kind of upset. I can understand. We haven't got all our furniture yet. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Would you show us where they broke in, please? Sure, right over here. It's the middle window there. You can see where he jimmied it. Uh-huh. I was careful not to touch it. You know, fingerprints. Good. Can you give us a list of the things they took? Well, no, sir, not for certain. We're just getting moved in, you see. We don't know for sure what's gone. A couple of silver trays and a pair of candlesticks. They're missing. Any cash? About $20, $25. When I changed to go out to dinner, I left it in my trousers. Mm-hmm. Your family live here with you? My wife. Oh, I see. We've only been married a couple of weeks. Yeah. Any idea what time the burglary took place? Yes, sir, between 6 and 10 last night. Must have been then, between 6 and 10. Uh -huh. We went over to Sally's folks for dinner. Our refrigerator won't be in until the end of the week. I see. The reason I'm so sure about the time is I wanted to find out how long it would take to drive there. Mm-hmm. Told Sally it wouldn't be more than 15 minutes. First time she's ever been away from home, she kind of likes to feel her folks are handy. I understand. Hollywood Hills, that's where they live. Took us 14 minutes. Left here at 6 o'clock exactly. News was just coming on the radio. Got there 6.14. I'm not so sure when we got home, but it was right around 10 o'clock. That's close enough. Of course, we didn't know about the burglary then. We just went straight to bed. Didn't look in here. Yeah. It wasn't until this morning when I started hunting for some cash. Well, now, is it possible he broke in while you were asleep? I might have slept through it, but not Sally. These little thing wakes her up. You all right if we talk to your wife? She couldn't tell you anything I haven't. She here now? Over to Mother's. This thing kind of threw her. You know how it is, just a kid. Yeah. She wish it had been me that found out about the bird. The bird? Didn't I tell you I meant to? No, you didn't. Darndest thing, parakeet. Folks gave it to Sally when she was just a girl. She taught her how to talk. Talked real good, too. Why should a burglar do a thing like that? Well, what'd he do, turn it loose? No, sir. He killed it. We called the crime lab. Sergeant J. Allen told us that there were no useful fingerprints on the window. Pictures were taken of the Jimmy marks. There was no other physical evidence. By the end of the following week, four more burglaries were reported in new housing developments. We interviewed the victims. In each case where the home contained pet birds, the birds had been killed. Other pets were not disturbed. Circulars describing the stolen articles were sent to all pawn shops in the city. Monday, September 19th, 8.05 a.m., we checked in for the day. What's the matter, you still asleep? I didn't get a wink. They was at me all night. It's my own fault, Joe. Never should have told her about all those new houses going up. It was a big mistake. Well, I thought you told me you were considering a new house. Well, I changed my mind. We got enough people staying with us now. All Faye's relatives, that brother-in-law, Armin. As long as he sleeps on the couch in the front room, he shoves off after a day or two. If I gave him a real bed, he'd settle down for life. <laughs> Burglary Friday. Yes, sir. When did it happen? I see. All right, go ahead. 
214 South? Yes, sir, I have it. Right away. That's for us? Yeah. Pet store over near Lancashire Boulevard. A store? Yeah. It doesn't sound like our boy. Might be if they sell birds. We left the office and drove out to the Biggs Pet Shop on a side street in North Hollywood. 9.07 a.m. We interviewed Jasper Biggs, the owner of the store. He told us that during the night, the back door had been forced open. $17 was missing from the register. He went on to say that all the birds in the shop had been killed. Uh, the money ain't important, you understand. Not that anybody likes being robbed. No, sir. Besides, it's happened before. That's why I keep this sign here on the cash register. Register unlocked. Don't break. A couple of years ago, a fellow broke in. Wrecked the machine trying to get it open. Register's worth a whole lot more than anything I keep in it. Shut up, will you? All of you. So much racket in here, a person can't even think. Now, where was I? Oh, yes. About the money. Like I said, it doesn't matter. The $17? Yes, sir. The birds are different. They do matter. Uh-huh. Killed every last one of them. Parakeets, canaries, parrots, every last one. Yeah. Parakeets and the canaries, they don't matter. I can replace them. Insurance will take care of it anyway. Them parrots are another story. Different story entirely. Yes, sir. Two of them were on consignment, worth over $100 a piece. $100. Bet you never figured birds ran that high. No, sir. Well, they do. Parrots, anyway. Some of them. What's more?